Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review with another new background. If you're wondering where the old background went, just go check in the shorts. Um, you'll see where um, that background is now. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and dive into our next review. It is going to be... There we go. The 2023 William Byron Darlington throwback race win. Now, as you remember last year, William Byron almost had this race won until Joey Logano gave him the good old boot. This year, Ross Chastain gave Kyle Larson the boot, and William Byron snuck by for the win. So, um, what do you say? Uh, he kind of came around, and uh, Larson or uh, Byron is able to get the win from last year that he missed out on. Uh, so, here's our artwork for the 2023 Elite Box. We've got the 75th anniversary logo there. We got 2023 RCCA Elite. Everything's normal there. And then the only thing that makes this unique is this here, the um, production number one of 900. Whoa, what did I see there? 941. That's a ton of elites. So a lot of elites made. That's a lot. Um, does come with actually three inserts. The first of which is the race win sticker with the white background and then the NASCAR colors and the 75th anniversary diamond. Uh, we also have the stat card here. William Byron, Goodyear 400 winner, May 14th, 2023, Darlington, South Carolina. Going around here to this side, and you can see we've got time of the race, three hours, 23 minutes, started fourth on the day, led the last seven laps, uh, very much a um, kind of came out of nowhere win, um, which, by the way, for those who don't know, uh, I do predict William Byron will take a step back next year, and I in just in the win column, and I think that's honestly not a hot take because he, he really did have a lot of good fortune this year, which is great, um, but... You know, I don't know if it's replicable, so I do think he's going to have a step back in terms of wins this year. But anyway, margin of victory, 0.7 seconds. Uh, and then the other insert, this is something I've started to see a lot in a lot of the Hendrick cars, but race use bumpers, sweepstakes. This is something that um, has been in a lot of the Hendrick cars I've seen recently, so another little addition that uh, Lionel's been putting in there. And the only other piece, this is not something that is um, that comes with the car. This is something I got separate. But this is the race pin, the Goodyear 400, May 14th, 2023. Um, I do not get have, uh, any of these for the website, I don't believe. Um, but the cool thing is where I was able to get this was from a Florida Denny fan, I believe, uh, was the one who sent me this. So very cool that I was able to get a pin, even though I wasn't at the race. And, um, you know, they, they, they weren't available online. So um, what can I say? It's good to have good friends. Um, so anyway... That's uh, all the pieces that come with it. Now let's go ahead and get a nice close look at the car because the car has an interesting look to it. That's what I'll say. It's an interesting look. So, uh, yeah, we'll start here down the left side. You'll notice we've got this metallic. Um, it's supposed to be like an orangish red. Looks more like an, I don't know, in the light it looks fine, but in the regular color it looks almost like just maroonish. Um, I don't know. I, it's supposed to be what they call chromium, I believe was the term. And it's supposed to actually look more like a liquid color. This one just happens to look more metallic than liquid. Uh, but you can see the color. It looks really good. I like the color behind it. We have our yellow number 24. We got Byron. We got Exalta. We actually have the 75th anniversary diamond on the hood as well. Uh, and then a Chevy emblem with a little warp to it on the bumper there. Um, it's a little weird because I think in the reference photos, the Chevy emblem was on the hood. And it was actually split where the hood seam was. So uh, a little weird that it was moved down to where it is currently sitting. Um... We do have the the yellow, white, and blue confetti uh, kind of around the nose here. It gets a little heavier up on the windshield and actually goes all around the car. You can just see where the confetti's at. Uh, we do have our Goodyear throwback tires. You can see those there. Kind of an old school look there, uh, along with some buildup and stuff on those tires as well. Uh, the little pink tape pieces on the rims, that's something that Hendrick had been doing. They taped these random little spokes on the rims. Um, I don't know, they look okay. We do have a wall scrape there on the right rear. Also, two shredded tires, one on each of the rear spots. So, two shredded tires on this car. Uh, we got Exalta.com here on the back. DIN number is 726. Or sorry, 726. Uh, there you can see the uh, deck lid open up, exposing the fuel cell. Uh, I didn't mention this, but yeah, opening roof flaps, that's uh, another standard feature. Posable wheels, functioning suspension, all that. You can see we got City Chevrolet, we got Hendrick Motorsports, Raptor, King of Tough, and Liberty University. So those are the logos there on the left and right side corner panels. Um, this was his third win of the year, so you see the three winner stickers there. Um, I think it was his third win. Yeah, it should have been. Should have been third win. Um, but yeah, overall, the car has uh, not a ton of race damage. As I said, outside of this mark here on the right rear, that is the only real damage mark. We do get a little bit of confetti. And we do have a pretty good-looking throwback. As far as I know, this thing was not made in the standard um, clean finish. I think they, at least in the Elite, I believe they only made the raced version. So um, it is a pretty unique color, which is pretty cool. I do think this thing would look probably more accurate in the liquid color, but I don't think it was made. So I'm not 100% sure. But 
But if it wasn't made in liquid, this might be our only option. So, uh, you know, kind of is what it is and you deal with what you got. But um, other than that, though, that'll pretty much wrap up this review. Let me know your thoughts on this car in the uh, comments below. Uh, let me know if you thought that the car would look better in liquid or not. I think it might have. Um, but, you know, that chromium car was a little, it's tough to remember exactly what that finish looked like in the sunlight. So, uh, anyway, guys, that'll wrap up the video. Thank you all for watching. This has been Race Craze. We'll see you in the next one.